Hello and welcome. In this uh, screencast, we'll take a look at how to compute the beta for a given stock. The beta is a measure of the volatility of the stock relative to the stock market as a whole. So let's get started and download some data from Yahoo Finance. I'm going to download um, Amazon stock information. So if you go to historical prices and uh, select weekly from let's say 2002 March 16th 2002 or let's uh, say July 14th 2002 to July 14th 2012 get prices and go all the way down download the spreadsheet now we can delete all information other than the adjusted close and uh, next we can download information from the S&P 500 again historical prices July 14th 2002 and weekly get prices download the spreadsheet okay now i'm just going to upload this into my working spreadsheet so here's my data i've copied the information from the two downloaded spreadsheets into my working spreadsheet these are the amazon closing prices now we need to calculate the returns. The return is just the current stock price divided by the previous period stock price minus one expressed as a percentage. We do the same thing for this. <coughs> and I can copy this all the way to the bottom and this one too. Let's, we just need to delete the last observation because <coughs> it does not have a previous stock price to compute returns from. Okay, so having done this, it's now straightforward to compute the beta. The beta is nothing but the covariance of the returns from Amazon to the returns from s p divided by the variance of the returns from s p and that's about 1.1067 now another way to compute the beta is to use a slope function the slope function gives the slope of the line that would be formed if you were to plot <coughs> Amazon returns with S&P returns. So here Amazon returns are the known Y's and S&P returns are the known X's and if you do a slope you'll get the same number. I just need to increase the number of digits here to show that they're really the identical number. So these are two ways in which you can compute the beta for a stock compared to the beta for a stock market index. The things to remember are <coughs> you want to use the adjusted close and you want to make sure you choose the same time interval for both of the stocks. Um, if you're using weekly for your S&P 500 or your stock market index, then use weekly for your stock index as well. So hopefully that should uh, help with this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.